Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Newsmakers Week with Bickley and Murata Mornings. The Arizona Diamondbacks. Newsmakers Week 2024 getting underway. For the next four days, starting today, we will talk to the movers and shakers of the Valley and uh, Arizona sports scenes, coaches, general managers, executives. Let's hope they don't shake too much, Vinny. <laughs> Hope they don't shake too much is right. Uh, it's our pleasure to welcome back to the show, to kick off Newsmakers Week 2024, the manager of the National League champion Arizona Diamondbacks, Tori Lovello, joins us here on the Arizona Sports Line. Tori, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good, fellas. How are you guys? Good. G- great to have you back yeah, on the show. And thanks for joining us again, Tori. We appreciate that. Let's start here. What a great love fest for your first full squad workout yesterday. What did that tell you? What did it feel like? How did the players vibe on it? Oh, man. I, I'll tell you. First of all, it was great to be in front of them. It was great to have everybody out here uh, in one place at one time. And then we step outside, and, I mean, they're too deep, you know, probably 500, 700, 1,000 people out there supporting us and just rooting us on through the course of our workout. So um, it was, it was a great vibe. It was special to see that, that, uh, that, that type of fan out there. We know they're out there. We love our fans. We want to connect with our fans. And yesterday was a great day for us to be able to do that. Now with uh, the full squad intact, Tori, uh, and, you know, as a manager, you're kind of soaking everything in who, who has stood out to you? Who's, who's caught your eye early in, in this spring camp? Yeah, it's hard for me to to pinpoint one person um, after you know the, the the single workout with the position players. Um, I will say I've had a chance to watch several of the pitchers. It's the young arms that are jumping out at me. It's uh, you know a number of the next layer of young pitcher that has that's been brought in, drafted by the Arizona Diamondbacks that is now. Um, has matured to the level where they're getting into big league camp. And it's just the, the velocity, uh, the secondary stuff. That That's really what has jumped out at me. Um, as far as the position players go, uh, it was nice to see Gino Suarez, uh, Jock Peterson, um, a couple of the a couple of the additions. Uh, I've, I've known Eduardo Rodriguez, and he's been in that pitcher group. So connecting with the position players a little bit yesterday, going out while they were stretching and walking around and just getting to know those guys and just watching their work habits. It was a lot of fun for me, but as far as watching them work, it was limited work. I didn't get a chance to watch a lot of it, but I'll be I'll be zoning in on a few guys, and those are the two that I was really happy to see and meet yesterday. Yeah, and it's it's so hard when you talk about the optimism with this team. It's it's so hard to move off of the starting pitching staff and your pitching staff in in whole. When people started describing Eduardo Rodriguez as as nasty or filthy his first day uh, after reporting, what does that tell you about a pitcher and his stuff? Well, first of all, it tells me a story about him and his readiness. You know, when you walk in and you're you're that effective and you're opening those types of eyes, especially from a veteran standpoint, where you know you don't have a lot to a lot to do as, as far as impressing somebody because you got to come in and get your work. But um, tells me about his readiness and his ability to to come in and start competing right away. And that's really what I know of him. And that's what I remember about him is that. He cares about the right things at the right time in the right space, and he wants to he wants to make sure that the coaches know that he's ready to go out and compete. Now, what does that mean? What does that translate to? Uh, I'm hoping great things, and and he's going to get the baseball every fifth day. We know that. We want to make sure that he he maintains good health. And if we we go out there um, and keep the four to five, well, the four that we know of, and then the one extra that we are we are looking to add in uh, in this competition. If we keep them all healthy, we're going to have a very good year. Tori Lavello, the manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks, our guest as we kick off Newsmakers Week 2024 here on Arizona Sports. Over the weekend, uh, you got another new piece to the lineup to work with, Randall Gritchick, and I know he's working his way back for, from an ankle injury. How do you see his role uh, coming together once he's completely healthy, Tori? And as a manager now with, with the acquisition of Gritchick, do you, do you feel like you have everything you need uh, going into this season? Well, yeah, I feel like we're in a, we're in a really good spot. And and when I sat down the other day, and once he was added, I wrote down a couple of lineups, and and then maybe maybe what happens on top of a couple of pitching moves. We have a lot of depth, and it's not just guys you can that can fill in the gaps and 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 um, you know, say that you got the right matchup just because it's a left right matchup. But we got guys that are waiting and and can impact the game with one swing of the bat and are very good accomplished hitters. So uh, I like that. I love the versatility. 
Uh, we don't have one lineup that we're going to stick with that's going to go out there and, and one through nine, everybody's going to get this, the same at-bats, the same amount of time. Uh, we've got to be creative, and that's up to me to find those guys. With, with, uh, with Randall coming in, um, it was a perfect piece, and he's going to complement this lineup. And we know that he's still recovering from that ankle injury. He's still in, in the training room and slowly migrating out of the training room and getting some work in, but we've got to be very mindful of that. He'll be ready by opening day. We know that. But it's a quality right-handed bat that just, just goes out there and competes really well at a very high level against left-handed pitching, and that's what we needed. Yeah, when when they made the acquisition, my first thought was, hey, that's a solid pickup, especially at this time of the calendar. My second thought immediately after that, Tori, was, what does this mean for Jake McCarthy moving forward? And Jake is kind of a forgotten guy because, uh, in a lot of people's eyes, because he did get injured, wasn't around for the for the playoff run. But what do you see as a role for Jake McCarthy, and what would you like to see from him this spring? Well, that will still be defined, and yeah, nothing's written in stone. And I know that it might it might seem like there's a target on somebody's back right now because of of the the addition of Grechik, but. I don't think that that means anything for anybody at this point in time. Jake is going to get an opportunity to go out there and, and, and barrel up some baseballs and play the game at a high level, which we've seen before. And Jake is a good player. Jake is a really, really good baseball player. And when, when things are clicking for him, he can carry a huge workload for us. Not too long ago, uh, probably from the second half of uh, 22 until the end of the season, um, he was our number three hitter. We've got to mm-hmm. remember that. And last year he had a good year. Uh, but it, he didn't take take the the steps that we thought he would and keep progressing, and that's his challenge. That's what we want to see from him. And he's accepted that challenge, and he's a very heady player, very smart player, and cares about the right things. And he's an easy bet to go out there and improve and show us what he could do. When you guys are are firing at your best, there's things that you do, and there's things that you point out when you're not doing them well. You like your team to pick up the baseball. You like your hitters and your lineup to to move it on down the line. What are the little things this team has to focus on to to not lose sight of who? You you are given all the praise you've all gotten given how how close you were to the top of the mountain how important is it and how much are you going to stress some of these little things that are so foundational to what you're trying to build well we we pride ourselves on that you know we talk we talk about winning the inch that's that's what we talk that's exactly what we say how are we going to win those little inches all over the baseball field look there's a thousand of them you know it's not a fair or foul ball it's being able to throw a ball one inch on the plate that's not in the middle of the zone it's being able to square up a, a ball on the barrel of your bat on you know one inch from being perfect which will still give you a really good result so um we we talk about that all the time the, the thing that's most important to me, and it's a non-negotiable, is being able to pick up the baseball at a very fast pace, under control, be quick, don't hurry. Um, so those are the things that we're stressing. But And I know every team's having the same discussion uh, inside of their clubhouse right now. How can we improve situationally? We want to be able to advance every runner from second to third base. We want to be able to score every runner from third base with less than two outs. It's, there's no perfect science to it it's not going to be we're not going to be 100 for 100 during the course of the year in both those areas but we want to go out there and strive for perfection by training as best that we possibly can so we can continue to improve in that area all right lastly if there's any uh, member of your starting lineup who maybe doesn't get the uh, the attention he deserves it might be Geraldo Perdomo and you made it very clear that the people who are looking at Jordan Lawler and wondering when his time might be coming that this is Geraldo's job he has earned that right and he is he is a very very talented shortstop your thoughts on that and your infield and hole well he deserves that he deserves that that praise um and he was an all-star for us last year the one thing he didn't do very well and because we had nick ahmed as a right-handed hitter was um was barrel up the baseball against left-handed pitching and he has he's a quality at bat but we just felt like we had another option with nick ahmed and you know once once we moved on from that last year we felt like um jerry was going to get the opportunity to go out there and play every single day and you know the beauty of him is he accepts that responsibility and loves it he's a very confident comfortable player that wants to win championships. That's all he talks about. And he talks about growing and learning every single day. So he's exactly what we want as an Arizona Diamondback. Um, he's, a, he's a true leader by example. His words and actions match um, what he says he's going to do. So uh, we're really excited about his growth. But there's, he, he's not going to stop just because I've handed him the opportunity to get those 140 games played this year, which I know that he's excited about, uh, doesn't mean that he's going to stop growing and learning. He's going to be an exceptional player for us, and I expect really good things from him. Tori, thanks so much for the time this morning. Really appreciate it. Best of luck, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you, Tori. Okay, boys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank Bye-bye. you, Tori Lovello, manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks.
helping us kick off Newsmakers <laughs> Week 2024 as the uh, Diamondbacks continue workouts at Salt River Fields. Actual Cactus League baseball happening Thursday. Diamondbacks play on Friday. Yeah, that's right. They open with the Rockies on Friday. It's a magical anybody, time of year. Yeah, we've never seen the Diamondbacks play the Rockies. I can't wait to see the – wait. What does this look like? <laughs> Yeah. These two teams don't know each other at all. Long mm-hmm. commute. Long commute. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.